Hi, it's Anthony from CarPlayLife.com and today I'll be telling you my top five best CarPlay Android AI Box adapters. CarPlay AI Boxes are small standalone computers that run an Android operating system on your CarPlay display. You simply connect the AI Box to your CarPlay USB port in your car and the AI Box will take over your CarPlay interface and replace it with an Android tablet operating system. From here you can install any app that's available from the Google Play Store including streaming and video apps like YouTube, Amazon Prime, Hulu, and Netflix, to games like Candy Crush and Call of Duty. You can also operate Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wirelessly on your CarPlay display, stream local media files and output to a connected HDMI display. So in short, they are smart little devices that open new opportunities for your CarPlay display. And they are perfect if you find yourself in the car for a long period of time or whilst you're waiting for your EV to charge. In this video, I'll be focusing on AI boxes that connect to a wired CarPlay system. So let's find out which AI box made my top five. So I first gathered all the AI boxes that I reviewed on this channel. I then checked to see if they were still available to buy because there's no point in recommending an AI box that you can't buy anymore. If any were discontinued or have been out of stock for a long period of time, they were simply removed from the list. I then ran each one on a number of CarPlay systems to test their versatility. This included my Pioneer 93 DAB receiver, the Alpine X902D G7 receiver, and two standalone displays from Coral Vision and Carpuride. If any didn't display correctly on more than one of them, they were simply removed from this list too. And after these initial tests, I narrowed 24 AI boxes down to just 11 finalists. Next, I checked their boot up times into their main launcher software. Some boxes have animated startup sequences, which helps to distract and hide the long loading process. And some simply don't hide it at all, and they just get right on in there. All the finalists took between 28 and 51 seconds to boot into their main menu. Each AI box comes with a certain version of Android. All of my 11 finalists range from Android 9, which was released in 2018, to Android 12, which was released in 2021. So that within three years, there is a varying compatibility with apps, as well as security, functionality, and features between each version. I then scored each of their launcher software. These varied between basic dated looking menus with floating sub-menu buttons to more modern designs with large functional widget panels. Checking each of their Wi-Fi specs is also important for use with personal hotspots, casting wirelessly from your phone, as well as connecting to wireless CarPlay or Android Auto. AI boxes that have faster max data speeds were rated higher, along with channel width, Wi-Fi band, and Wi-Fi standard were also considered too. All AI boxes that supported screen locking earned an additional point, and their CPU and GPU Geekbench scores were also tested and scored based on their benchmark values. Most AI boxes came with four gigabyte of RAM and 64 gigabyte of storage, with the exception of one finalist that came with eight gigabyte of RAM and 128 gig of storage, which earned an extra point as more RAM helps with multitasking between running apps. All finalists supported wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, so I tested the time it took to pair and display each platform, testing their input and audio lag. Only a few finalists had USB-A ports, but neither offered wired CarPlay or Android Auto pass-through. Each finalist used a variety of CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity apps, from the more feature-rich Z-Link 5 app with support for split-screen mode in Android Auto and HD streaming options, the more basic apps from Multiplay, Speedlink and AutoKit and some of these offered the ability to choose your own custom home app within CarPlay. Only four of the 11 finalists offered video casting support with varying performance. The same number offered HDMI output to display content onto a separate screen, and just one offered HDMI input to allow the use of stream boxes or games consoles on your CarPlay display. Most finalists offered SD card storage, one offered USB-A media playback instead, and all finalists featured a 4G SIM card slot for more reliable local based internet connection, which all of these box rely on. Only one finalist didn't support any secondary Bluetooth connections, whilst the rest supported at least a Bluetooth remote control connection, and six offered both remote and Bluetooth game controller support. A few of the finalists offered 60 FPS display specs, but on installing an FPS counter app, all of them but one were actually running at 60 FPS 
with most of them locked to 30 frames per second. So after many extensive tests, I narrowed down my 11 finalists to just my top five. All these AI boxes are worth a look at, yet some may offer better connections and features. So depending on what you want out of your adapter, you might find an AI box in second or fourth place that's more better for you. So without further delay, here are my top five AI boxes for Apple CarPlay systems. So in fifth place is the Explorter Apple Pie Ultra. This AI box, along with many other Ultra brand alternatives, offers a fast Qualcomm 665 chipset, SIM card and TF card slots. It performed a solid average score throughout all of the tests, which meant it earned its place among the top five finalists. It's the only adapter in the top five to feature the newer Android 12 operating system. And although its launcher software isn't really the best out of the final five, it makes up for this with eight gigabytes of RAM for better multitasking and 128 gigabytes of storage for storing more apps, media and games. It was one of my two finalists to offer dual Bluetooth support. And although it was the slowest to boot into its main menu launcher, it was the fastest to boot into wireless Android Auto. However, due to its poor Wi-Fi specs, its wireless experience can be a little bit laggy and less as responsive than the other four finalists. It's priced second highest out of our finalists, so this makes it harder to recommend this AI box unless you're specifically looking for dual Bluetooth support with more RAM and storage and support for casting and better wireless options thanks to its Z-Link 5 app. In fourth place is the Ottercast Picasso 2. This round puck sized AI box carries the same fast chipset as all the other top five finalists. It has an older Android 10 operating system, but it makes up for it with one of the better launcher interfaces. It has great Wi-Fi specs, so expect great wireless performance in its rather basic multiplayer app. It was the third fastest to boot into its main launcher menu, but it was the second slowest out of all 11 finalists to boot into wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. It has Bluetooth remote support, and it is the second fastest performing AI box when it comes to launching apps like Spotify, Google Maps, YouTube, and Netflix. Costing very similar to the Apple Pie Ultra, if you're looking for a solid all-rounder with a great looking launcher, HDMI output support, and a fast performer in launching apps, I have less desire to use it for wireless CarPlay or Android Auto, then this AI box is worth checking out. The third place goes to the MIC HDMI box GT0464EA. You can also pick up this AI box unbranded as the CP508. This AI box is a good solid performer. Sadly though, it's difficult to buy outside Europe and Asia, but the CP508 can be shipped in from a few AliExpress sellers if you're willing to risk it. This AI box also runs Android 10 and offers one of my favorite simple launchers. It has no floating buttons and has a persistent side dock with simple yet functional home and back buttons, making it great to navigate apps with. It has great Wi-Fi specs that make it a solid performer for wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, and its HDMI output port allows it to connect to an external HDMI display. It's the second fastest to boot into its launcher menu, and the second fastest to boot into CarPlay. It only supports a Bluetooth remote, and it has an average speed of launching the four key apps that I tested speeds with. As the cheapest of the top five AI boxes, this AI box is a good all-rounder with solid foundations. It's fast to boot as well as launch wireless CarPlay. It gets the job done without any fuss or frills. So if you're on a budget and you're looking for speed and reliability, then you really can't go wrong with this AI box. In second place is the Ottercast Picasso 2 Pro. This is a new entry AI box that I have yet to bring my full review for on this channel, but it made good sense to size it up alongside all the other AI boxes. Thanks to its overall performance, it managed to easily sneak its way into taking second place in my top five. Spec wise, it is an identical match to the fourth place Picasso 2 AI box, with the exception of adding a USB-A media port instead of an SD card slot, and it has both HDMI output as well as HDMI input ports. So with this AI box, you have the opportunity to plug in a games console or an HDMI streaming stick into this AI box and have that content displayed on your CarPlay display, as well as pump it through to an external HDMI display in the car. It was the fastest AI box to boot into the same launcher menu as its rounded brother, 
Yeah, I found it had average wireless performance in its multiplayer app for CarPlay and Android Auto. Its launch speed in the four test Android apps was between high and good. Not the best, but you will likely not see a significant difference between the speed of all of the top four AI boxes. Scoring just two points off the top place winner, this Picasso 2 Pro is a great AI box, but it is the most expensive out of all the top five finalists. So you really have to want HDMI output and input, fast wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, or USB-A media playback over an SD card to really choose this adapter over its brother in fourth place. And finally, the number one CarPlay AI box is the Carlinkit CPC200 T-Box Plus. This is Carlinkit's third revision of their T-Box branded lineup. In this latest revision, they have thrown in the same fast chipset as all the other finalists, upgraded its operating system to Android 11, and improved its launcher software. It's let down by its shared low Wi-Fi performance, along with the fifth place Ultra, and it was the second slowest to launch into its main menu. But its software seems to be a little bit more optimized than other AI boxes, and as a result, it's the fastest to boot into wireless CarPlay, and second fastest to boot up into Android Auto. Like the Ultra, it offers dual Bluetooth support for both wireless, remote, and game controllers. And again, thanks to its optimizations, it was the fastest to boot into all of the four test apps, including Spotify, Google Maps, YouTube, and Netflix. Its general performance has helped this AI box score the highest out of all of the 11 finalists, yet its position is also justified because of its price. Costing the second lowest out of the top five finalists, if you're on a budget and want the best bang for your buck, then this AI box from Carlinkit is the best AI box for your money right now. Just as long as you don't mind it's rather lackluster Wi-Fi performance in wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. Otherwise you can spend an extra $70 and you can get a better or rounder AI box with the Otacast Picasso 2, which would be my own personal recommendation regardless of how well it scored in my tests. So there we have it. These are my top five tested CarPlay AI box adapters. I hope you found this roundup helpful and I'll leave links to buy and watch all my reviews for each of these dongles in the description down below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this content and if you're just looking for wireless CarPlay adapters or two-in-one dongles for Android Auto on your CarPlay system, you can check out my top five videos here and here, and I'll see you there. As always, comments are always welcome if you have any questions about any of the AI Box adapters that I've covered in this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.